What is up? Need for Speed Racer and Copium participants, it is I, your wheel man, Alex Cornut. We're here today with Copium Season 3, Episode 6. It is the BMW M3 convertible on going uptown. It's going to be a interesting week. I feel like we're going to lose a lot of people to the bridge, and many runs will die as they hit the overhang. But overall, it's going to be a blast. It's a lot of fun. It's a good track. Good car for the track. Sly QT paired it up this week. He picked the track and the car combo. It's funny how that came about. And this just goes to show that you as viewers can have an influence on what we do over here because we can be bribed. And so how this went was a guy did a super chat on one of the videos for like 10 bucks, which is awesome. I'm very thankful for it. And he was like, hey, I race with Sly QT and he's a great racer and I love what you do and your team's awesome. And here's a thank you. And Sly saw that later. He's like, because of this, I pick next copium. I'm like, seems fair. <laughs> so let's go. So that's what we're doing. I've got a build for you. I've got the drift and the grift, the drift and the grip set up for you. Overall, it should be pretty solid. Top speed's really the name of the game here. So we swapped out a few things, went with the turbo to get a little more oomph in the car. So that top speed actually makes a little more sense on that track. Overall, it works pretty well. If you've never run the Copium series before, we're growing and you need to be a part of that. It's that simple. Like, what are you doing with yourself if you're not racing with us, but you're watching these videos? Come on, get in here, run it, set a time, have some fun. We had over, I think we had 10 splits last week. We had 88 participants. We had splits that were like um, nine tenths of a second had eight racers in it. And it's really, really close racing. So if you are looking to get involved or if you're not looking to get involved, let me pressure you into getting involved because it's worth it. It's a lot of fun. And then we do the reveal on stream. We go through everybody's times. We congratulate those that get funny times. And it's turning into the master's challenge. Run the track as normal, do you? But if you want to run the track in reverse, we are now timing that as well because there's a group of people that did it last week. We had, I think, eight and it was really rather close racing for reverse driving. So it's on your honor, just run it backwards if you want and uh, good luck. But let's get into it, let me show you the build and then I'll refresh all the rules for all of you guys that have maybe never done it before, which if you've never done it before, it's time. It's time to show up, turn up. A lot of you guys watch these videos but only 88 people participate, the ratio is off. So I'm speaking to you right now, you on your phone watching this that's never done it before. You, let's go. All right. BMW M3 convertible, 2010 model. Easy to get, seven mixed tier playlists. The engine that we use, I tried a bunch of them to try to get a decent A plus build. And at the end of the day, this has got the most horsepower and torque even with the turbo. So it just makes perfect sense. It's the first engine over, sport bronze, 575 brake horsepower, 5.0 liter V8. Sounds pretty good in this car. Parts, it is for the grip. Sport Bronze Induction, Silver Pro ECU, Sport Bronze Fuel System and Exhaust, and then you're going to go Super Gold Single Turbo. There wasn't any way for me to put the Elite Platinum Turbo and also put an additional part in it to get the horsepower numbers right, so we can pack more horsepower in by doing this configuration. That's why we're here, because horsepower is top speed, translates really well, and you want that for this track. We're running Sport Bronze Nitro, Elite Platinum Road Suspension, stock brakes, Elite Platinum Grippium tires, and then stock clutch, which is gold, so you auto players are in luck. And then make sure you convert the transmission to a Sport Bronze five speed. You need that, otherwise the build doesn't fit. Elite Platinum diff, you're gonna want it, so that way you can get the most out of your handling slider. And then auxiliaries is yes, nitrous drift and grip for sure. Now for the grip setup, there's a very specific way to get to this to make it fit. So pay attention. 70% grip, slide the slider to the left, back it off to, that's 70%. Cool, steering sensitivity, yes, do you. Downforce, all the way high, back it off one. That is the only place in the downforce slider that will give you A269, or A plus 269 in this case, and keep you in the class. Everywhere else is 270. So just be aware of that, you guys. It's the only way to get this set up with this configuration with that much grip dialed into the car. Now. You legends out there that may want to do a grip build. Let me show you what you do. You go in, you're going to run Sport Bronze uh, Induction, Sport Bronze ECU, Silver Pro Fuel System, and Silver Pro Exhaust. Now that we've got that in the car, you're going to go over and you're going to go Elite Platinum 
drift tires. And then you're gonna slide your slider way to the right. And you need to be at 80% drift. This is what Slide set up for himself. He said that's what he's gonna run this week. So that is gonna give you the drift build. It's right there. So all the way to the right, full 80% drift, downforce all the way high. That's the only place it works. Outside of that, it's pretty similar. Both cars are pretty competitive. The this one's got 762 horsepower, whereas the Grippium version has about 756. So it's got a little less horsepower. I think that's what it was. Let me look. Let me let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Uh, the Grippium version has 755. So it's a little less horsepower in the grip, but overall, it's going to be competitive this week. But set the car up any way you want. You do you, Pikachu. I'm going to put the car back in the grip because that's what I'm going to be running. So now you've got both builds. To sum it all up, buy yourself the BMW M3 convertible, 2010 model. Build it any way you want. Grip, drift, off-road, scuff it, do you, Pikachu. It's all good. There could be something to that because it's a pretty straight track. You're going to run Going Uptown, which is in the... A plus playlist, it is send it. It's right here. Third playlist over, first track of that playlist. Run going uptown in that BMW. At the end of that race, pull out your phone, take a screenshot on your console, whatever. Take a picture of that lap time. It needs to show your name, the car you drove, so we know you drove the right one, and your time on that track. Send it to me at alexcornnut at gmail.com. Or you can e or get in the discord and you can submit it in the copium submission section if you are on discord don't send me a message in discord log into my discord server and go to that section and submit it there so that way we don't get anybody lost in the shuffle because if it comes to email to me i'll get it but if it's pm to me in discord sometimes i miss it because i get a lot of messages so i just want to make sure that we get everybody in the splits that's it we run from right now wednesday through next Tuesday, which is going to be the 16th, and 8 p.m. Central Standard Time is when the cutoff is. So make sure you get your result to me before then. And then I go live shortly after the cutoff, and we show everybody's times. So we have a lot of fun. I hope to see you on track. I would love to see you on track. Come and participate in the fastest growing, biggest timed event in Need for Speed Unbound. And it's all for fun. So why not jump in here and have some fun with us? You guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.